This is Ray Webb. He's 41, and at an age when you and I face another 20 years of working for somebody else, he has retired. He's an ordinary man, but he's found the secret of making Walter Mitty's dreams come true. His ambition is to catch the biggest pike in the world, and that is now his job. He's a self-employed, unpaid, full-time angler. It took him 10 years to accumulate enough money to spend the rest of his life fishing, and he did it by doing three jobs at once, telephonist, clerk, and lorry driver. He is, of course, single. Surely no woman would want to live and sleep in this tiny, dirty van like he does, whilst he searches the Irish waters for monsters. Well, I, I would say on a, on a normal week, I'm, I'm living on an outlay of something like, what, four pound a week? Maybe, maybe a little bit less, say, three pound ten. Three fifty in modern parlance. The obsession, I would say, certainly started before. I've been fishing fanatically, as you would call it, for some 15 or 16 years. But the idea of being able to fish full time occurred to me in 1964, in, of course, Ireland and on the Shannon, as always. I was down on the bottom end of Loch Ree, had a marvellous week's fishing, and, of course, as always, one dreams of winning the pools, and that's the way to leave from that point on. It struck me as a good idea. I liked the idea of winning the pools, but the odds didn't appeal over much. It struck me as, uh, as I was going to run out of time rather than, than hit the jackpot. So, I think it was roughly on these lines. I'm supposed to be a man of some sort of education, some sort of initiative, some wit. It's ridiculous to assume that a man of that, uh, that calibre should have to rely on it in the right degree of notes and crosses and all the rest of it every week. If he can't do it his own steam, he's not much of a fella. So, seven years ago, you made the decision to do it full time? Yeah, I, I, was, I abandoned the idea of the pools, I tried it, it didn't work, I abandoned the idea and decided I could make a go on it. The, mas the, the main thing, of course, was a life expectancy figure. I got a good sound medical checkup and was given something like, you know, mid-70s probably, something like that. And from that point on, I... Uh, stood how, old, how old were you then? I was 34 at the time. I decided to make it by the time I was 40. And exactly, most of the day, it worked out that way. The, uh, the pressure was pretty intense. I, uh, I sort of worked virtually the clock round, I would say, for six years. It was slog all the way, but it gave life a purpose. It was something I believed in. I'm a great believer in independence. My whole temperament sort of objects to being told what to do and where to go. Ray Webb is a loner. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He asks for nothing except to be left alone to seek the biggest pike in the world. More than four feet long, more than 50 pounds in weight. He's naturally reticent about money, but through saving frantically, he's probably got about £10,000 invested in building societies and government bonds to provide him with the small weekly income he needs. Life, after all, is not very expensive when the same little van provides transport, kitchen, bedroom and workshop. And yes, that is the boat on top. A homemade boat, of course. I seem to enjoy the Spartan life. I figured if I'd have lived in ancient Greece, there's no doubt what I would have done for a living there, I would have joined the Spartans. And this type of thing, it appeals to me somehow. It's all wrong, probably, in some respects, but that's the... You talk about the Spartan life, which mm. means that, you, that you're not married. It exactly. means no women. Is, it, is, this another chance, is, this a, is this another chance that you've taken into account when you, you uh, invested um, all your money? Uh, I certainly ruled out marriage long before I ever thought of retiring at 40. It doesn't strike me, I, uh, I would say, as a sound idea for a man of drive and burning ambition. It's a pretty well-known fact, although most folk get it when it's a bit too late, that marriage is just about the end. There's an old gag about, is there life after marriage? And I can't see any sort of debate about it. There's virtually, literally, you know, only one way you can think about it. So you don't, so you don't regard this as a chance that's worth bet hedging against? Uh, not for, as I say, a man who has any drive, there's one sure way he'll kill it, and mind is it. His boat is called Tinker. It leaks, but until it sinks, he's not prepared to spend time or money repairing it. Similarly, he doesn't put the handbrake on the van very often. As he says, an unstretched brake cable lasts longer than a stretched one. And this saves money, too. And it's this kind of devotion to money saving which has made his dream come true. That and his love affair with the pike. But why Pike? You don't necessarily like him. You either sort of like him or you hate him. And the hate's usually based, I suppose, on fear in the first case. Folk are just, sort of, you know, frightened to death of them. So I'd say the sentiment of that comes into it. But I think one of the factors that I personally do appreciate is, is the tremendous acceleration of Pike from a standing start. It's a tremendous zip as he goes away. 
the kick you get when you're holding a rod and a pike really takes off, it's something that you can't get with any other fish at all. The pace is incredible. I'm dead on, so what do you make? She's 40, just. Just 40. Well, mm. Mona's scale gives 40 inches, 20 pounds. Yeah. You need a quick check on the balance there. You've either just made it or you've just missed it. The quicker we away and then get him back so you can give him a good chance to recover. Yeah. It's somewhat better than anything I've made this last few days, anyhow. The best I've made over the recent few days is 14 pounds short of that, roughly. I say the quicker we get him back at this stage, the better. Yeah. In this case, it's a 22 pounder. Back she goes. Uh, smart return, I'd say. That's it. So, what does it taste like now, Ray? Well, let's have a look, see, see what we've got. It's been in there something like about 15 minutes at 15 pounds. I should say we're not fur off at that. Bit of all right, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, it'll do, it'll do. Can somebody who's a fanatic actually enjoy what he's doing? Well, this one can. I wouldn't answer for anybody else, but this one, I, if there's a happy man on this earth at the moment, he's going some. No ifs and buts. I, uh, I've had 12 months of this independent life. It's not just the fishing that appeals to me, it's the ability to take the world by the scruff of the neck and make it jump to my tune. For 40 years, I've been shoved around by this, that and the other. Call them what you want, but I've been shoved around. From this point on, the world jumps to my tune. And that is as important to me as the fishing. They're both important, and get the two together, tremendously happy man. So you don't care what other people think about you? Well, I never did at that. That's, uh, that's no problem at all. They can't really sort of, you know, class me with anybody else. I seem to be absolutely unique. I've sort of searched the whole of humanity, and I can't find anybody on a similar sort of plane. I seem to be in a different wavelength, you know, to anybody else. It could be well up into double figures, just even that possibility, I suppose, of a 20-pounder. It's moving the way quite strongly towards the right there. It's, uh, it's taking off line. I wouldn't like at this stage to try and stop it too hard. It's, it's putting a fair bend on the rod, as you can see. I wouldn't like it to put on much more pressure before I reason release the line. You hear the winds... Oh, 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 well, I'm dashed. Would you credit that? Would you credit that? That looks like the end of that one for today, I'd say. However, there's always tomorrow. I know the position where he is likely to be tomorrow. I can get back again and have another crack at him to, uh, as I'd uh, pick up the spot tomorrow. We'll, we'll be back again.